Hey folks, I'm going to make something today. My wife's favorite is uh, this broccoli salad that I make. And uh, I'm going to be using some frog bone. This is their uh, Spanish moss. It's, uh, it's a white barbecue sauce, but Keith Jenkins over there at uh, Frog Bone, he uses this to make a, uh, a really awesome coleslaw. And as soon as I saw that, I'm like, this would be perfect. For the broccoli salad, so I'm going to be using some frog bone for this. I guess you could call it frog coli salad. And I've got some bacon, of course, some broccoli florets. I got some red onion. I got some uh, shredded cheddar cheese and some salt and pepper to taste. And uh, stick with me while I get this prepped up and ready to go. And um, I'm really, really uh, psyched to try out this frog bone. Actually. Russ over at uh, Smoky Ribs gave me this uh, over at JB's uh, Spring Fling a couple weekends ago, so really uh, excited to, to try to use some of the frog bone. Okay, I got everything prepped. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to add my broccoli florets. And some of these are kind of large, so you might want to have to cut them up a little bit. Cut off some of these these heavy stalks, and then cut these in half. Just like so, because you want them in nice bite-sized pieces. And you get these bigger pieces. Now what we got here is a half of that red onion that I've minced up. So we're just going to add that. And then we're going to add our bacon. Now this was uh, five, six, seven strips of microwave bacon. And I microwaved it for about a minute and a half to get it nice and crispy. You just want to crumble that up really good. You could add as much bacon as you'd like, but uh, I found that this is this is about right. But yeah, there's no such thing as too much bacon, right? Add the whole package if you want. <clears throat> Now we're going to add some cheese. This is some shredded cheddar. And this is approximately, this is two cups, so I'm going to do about half, so that's about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. That's about half. Two spoon. Start adding our frog bone. Frog bone. It smells really good. I took a little taste of it. It tastes really good. So I'm going to add about half of this, half of this jar of frog bone. Mm, that is tasty. Just stir that up. I don't think I'm going to need it. Need to add any salt, but I will add a little bit of black pepper. We got enough salt there with the cheese and the bacon. Plus, there's you know a little bit. What is the sodium? It's not a lot of sodium, so there's not a lot of salt in the frog bone. Okay, that's, that's incorporated really good, so I'm just going to refrigerate this for a few hours. 
and then bring it back and uh, let's see how, how it looks. Let's just take a little taste. Mm. It needs a little bit more frog bone. Okay. Now I'll cover and refrigerate this. So stay tuned and see how this turns out. Okay, it's been in the refrigerator for a while. So I'm just gonna transfer this broccoli salad to a serving dish. Oh boy, that looks really good. And that actually does two things. Puts it in a nice serving dish and it also lets me turn the salad around upside down to really get those flavors marinated in there. So let's give that a taste real quick. That frog bone. Get a little bacon, a little cheese, some onion, and some broccoli. Mmm. Mmm, that's awesome. Those are some great flavors. I must say, those are great flavors. I really like that frog bone Spanish moss. That is really good. Um, I know it's normally used for like a salad or something like that, but I'll, I'll definitely use it uh, for grilling some chicken or some shrimp or something. But there you go. There's a broccoli salad with uh, featuring the frog bone Spanish moss.